Gorky, Cambodia. Gorky is a remote archaeological site in the northern Cambodia, about 120 kilometers away from Siem Reap and the ancient site of Angkor. It is a jungle field region that is sparsely populated. More than 180 centuries were found in the protected area of 81 square kilometers. Only about two dozen monuments can be visited by tourists because most of the centuries are hidden in the forest and the whole area is not fully demined. Gokye is the modern name for an important city of the Khmer Rouge. It is in Ripson, the town is mentioned as Lingapura, city of Lingams or Jogaya, city of plants or as iron tree forest. Under the reign of the kings Jayavarman IV and Harshavarman II, Gokye was briefly the capital of the whole empire. The year 928 to 944 AD. Jayavarman IV enforced an ambitious building program. An enormous water tank, about 40 temples, were constructed under his rule. The most significant temple complex, a double century, Prasatom Prasatra, follows a linear plan and not a concentric one like most of the temples of the Khmer kings. A parallel is the 36 barrel high seven tier pyramid, which most probably serves as a state temple of Jayavarman IV. Really impressive to are the shrines with two narrow six feet seven inch high clingas. Under Jayavarman IV, the style of Koke was developed and the art of sculpture reached a pinnacle. A great variety of status was Chiso. Because of his remoteness, the style of Koke was plundered many times by letters. Sculptures of Koke can be found not only in different museums, but also in private collections. Masterpieces of Koke are offered occasionally at cautions. These pieces in present times are considered stolen art. The site is about two and a half hours away from Simri, and guests can stay in the nearby village of Sayong. 10 km from temples where there is a number of guest houses. Travelers can also stay in Koke Jungle Lodge Homestay, a sustainable tourism project built in the village of Koke in year 2009 by booking in advance of arrival. The Koke community in May 2019 opened a basic food and community rest house in the village. Sin 1992, the site of Koke is one of the UNESCO tentative World Heritage Site. Koke is situated between the southern slope of the Dangrek Mountains, the Kulen Mountains, Nom Kulen in the southwest, and the Tabang Mountain, Nom Tabang near Tabang Minje in the east. Most parts of the hilly ground are covered by jungle but most of the trees shut their leaves seasonally. The city of Koke was on the most important strategic route of the Khmer Empire. Coming from Angkor and Bang Mili to Koke, this road lead to Prasad River here, and from there to Phi Mai in Thailand and Wat Phu in Laos. The region of Koke is relatively dry. Numerous water tanks and canals were built during the 9th to the 10th century to ensure the water supply. These days, water is pumped up from the depth of 30 to 40 miles. Jayai Vaman the Four drew from 928 to 941 at Koke. It was believed to have been the local king at this remote site. Possibly his homeland, 
before the he became king of the whole empire. That could explain why he had his residence at Kotke and not at Prolos, Hariharaya, or at Yasho Harapura, Angkor, like the kings before him. Some historians think that Jayavarman IV was an usurper, but the majority of them believe that he was a legitimate ruler who could ascend to the throne because he married a half sister of King Yashovarman I. What is certain that the two sons of Yashovarman I, Hashavarman I, who ruled from 900 to 922, and Ishanavarman II, who ruled from 922 to 925, around like that, had no children. In the short time that Jayavarman IV ran in Korke, an ambitious building program was realized. That was only possible because of the restrictive system of pricing taxes seen on inscription far at the side. About 40 tumbles, the unique seven tier pyramid, and the huge barrel water reservoir were built. Under Jayavarman IV, the Koki style was developed and the art of the sculpture reached a pinnacle. After the death of Jayavarman IV, the designated prince did not take his place. Hashavarman II, another son of the Jayavarman IV, claimed the throne. Like his father, he is ruled at the court gate 941 to 944. But after three years, he died. Likely not due to natural cause, none of the temples at Koki can be ascribed to him. His follower on the road, a cousin of his, returned to Rolos Hariharalaya to the seat of power. Koki after 944 AD. Even after 944, as the capital of Khmer Empire had turned back to the plains north of the Tongle Sap Lake. More temples were built at the site of Koke. An inscription mentions the reign of Udayadiya Faman the first in 1001. At the beginning of the 13th century, the last century was realized that under Jayavarman VII, the Prasad Andamku, a so-called hospital chapel, was built. One of more then 100 of hospital centuries built under these rulers. In the second part of the 19th century, French adventurers ran the forest around the side of Koke while hunting them. They brought word of the structure in the area back to France. The French researcher Lunette de la Jonquera and Etienne I. Monia came to Koke. They saw the main temple come less prasad, tom prasad tang, the barai and the group of linga shrines. They also discovered a few subsections of the chosi. With the breadth of modern Aymara, they supposed that a road was connected to Koke with what food today southern Laos. Around 1818, members of a French expedition arrived at Koke and looted numerous statues and reliefs. These pieces are now in Musée Gourmet in Paris. At the beginning of the 20th century, art historians realized that a full flesh type was developed at Koke. Chocodes colluded from inscription that Koke was capital of the Khmer Empire, year 928 to 944 AD. Under the reign of Jayavarman IV and his follower Hashavarman II. In the 1980s, Thirties again, French researchers came to Koke. They discovered numerous nuns and cultivated 50 centuries in an area of 35 square kilometers. Henry Parmentier made a number of drawings after interruption because of the reign of terror of the Khmer Rouge. Research at the Koke continued by Absara, French, Japanese, and Australian scientists. At the beginning of the 21st century, scientists concluded that not all of the monuments could have been built in the short term. When Koke was capital of the Khmer Empire, 928 to 944 AD, a new era started at Koke as the photographs made by satellites were analyzed. 
In 2004, the protected area was extended to 81 square kilometers. For five years, Japanese researchers explored and described 184 monuments, including documenting their exact location. The Australian researcher Damian Evans and his team were able to verify Rajon de Quir's theory that there was a Khmer Rouge between Kokie and Guadfu, probably the most important strategic road of the Khmer Empire. Excavation in December 2015 by Cambodian and international teams near Prasatom and Rahan in the ancient urban core area of the Koke have yielded radiocarbon dates that clearly display significant habitation and activity beginning as early as the 7th to 8th century C, after known as the Changla period of, by historians. Some pottery tops may date to the early Funan period. Over 24,000 antifas and ecofas were recovered from three test sites. Antifas are mostly pottery fragments with local and assorted types representing over 100,000 years of site use throughout the occupation sequence. Assorted pottery types include Chinese stone square and clay square from the Songyuan period. Other assorted pottery, including Thai and Vietnamese stoneware, and that generally date to the late Angkor and post Angkor periods. Possible Persian pottery dating to the 9th century has been noted as well. The Scotcape has been linked to the long distance value trends for considerable time spans. Although the era may have been significant repurposed during the 10th century construction boom AD of Jayavamanda IV, Side use and activity continuing by uh, beyond the 10th century. Intensity of activity and density of the occupation have been oscillating over time in relation to the political and social economic factors. Natural and human resource management variables, as well as environmental phenomena, may have been played significant roles related to the chance in popularity population and productivity. The Brajas is part of the Nalada Sri Vijaya Center. Few schools led by the daughter Kiel Glatinis and the daughter Itari National Authority Apsara with the further support from the National Authority for Privacy.